Welcome to Lexan TV and on this episode, part two of my conversation with Mr. Trevor Modest, MBE. I'm going to learn a lot about his journey as an agronomist and more so into agro-processing. We're gonna talk about the dehydrating process of all the tasty locally grown fruits, in particular mango and banana. For now, here's my second part to the conversation with Mr. Trevor Modest. Enjoy. And now I move on to a next side of Mr. Modest that many of you might be very thrilled to know about. Um, you know he likes science very much. Not likes, likes is an, it's not the correct word to use here. He loves the science and he loves it so much he's taken it to a whole new level in terms of his uh, agro-processing project. And these are super tasty yes I've had them <laughs> I've had them and the entire process is based on dehydrating the fruit now this is the banana and there's also the mango um, Mr. Modest man when you talk about man of many disciplines a man that wears many hats uh, let's talk about the dehydrated fruits now I'm from Paradise Estate <laughs> we are slaves, a descendant from slaves. Mm -hmm. And one thing Paradise is famous for, the bakeries. Yeah. Everybody in Paradise had a bakery. And I could, right there, I could tell you about 20 different bakeries. A lot of us are related. Oh. No matter how far back we are related. There are 20 yeah. something bakeries in Paradise. And my grandmother and my father's side used to bake, and my grandmother and my mother's side used to bake, but, and baking, and my cousins baking, mm -hmm. and so we had bakeries in paradise. Now, I never thought I was a baker or anything, but then after, you know, I recognized it's baking and doing things with food. But I had a knack with food, doing things with food. And then it was my last year in track and field that Mr. Frick, that's a South African, Yes, I told me different. that look, because I was training, I, I just pr I was promoted to inspector, mm -hmm. so my job was of a higher level, and I, was, I didn't have enough time to train and whatnot. So I used to train at, at nights, and then 10, 11 o'clock, I'm training at the beach because I can't go in, in Queens Park oh. and train. And he saw me doing that, and he came and he said, "What are you doing?" I said, "I'm training." You don't believe in God? I say, yes, I believe in God. <laughs> he said, man, they are among the fallen angels in the, in the sea water there. You don't know who could come and... <laughs> I move off from the sea. What? And then he said, um, I'll give you something to give you some strength. Uh -huh. But I was, I was meat he was going to give me. and one, But he gave me the dehydrated mangoes and bananas. Wow. And when I ate that, I walked that day. And I come up. When I came home, I was not tired, so I went down to train on the beach again. Mm -hmm. And I trained past one o'clock the night. And I got to realize that there was something in what he gave me. So I went back uh, that the Sunday, I went to visit him and he explained to me what was going on. I said, I'd like to make that. Mm -hmm. He bought my first dehydrator for me wow. and he gave me. I think he bought it from Food, food Fair, and he gave me a, a home dehydrator. Wow. And I started experimenting with the dehydrator until, um, what's this um, promoter name again? Is Judah? It? Judah. Yeah. Uh, Judah tasted that. And Judah started to cost me and say, Mother, you're playing this, man. <laughs> I said, <laughs> he said, man, you have this thing, and you're just, you're just giving people. I say, well, I just give people that sick, people who have, um, I can't call the people yes, names, yes, eh, but yes, people yes. who have stroke and whatnot, and I just give them. I say, what happened when you give them? I say, man, they walk in, because the energy boosts, they, yes, they, they, yes. they walk and, and whatnot. Until one wife called me and said, don't give my husband that. Say, Hand it to me. I would give him for myself, because it's <laughs> in Chris Libido and all kind of thing, and she says she wants your husband there. Oh, I'm a good my friend. Goodness. Uh, wow. But she'll sell bananas and something for me too. Right. Yeah. So that's I mean, how did this, this thing started. And then it was doctor. And doctor came to me once, Dr. Um, Fleming. Mm -hmm. He was doing an assessment of me until we promoted to ACP, I think. 
And then, at that time, I didn't know. But he did his little investigation and he came, man, I'll help you with that. I'll do what I could to, to push you. Wow. And then he bought more dehydrators for me to start experimenting. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but uh, that came up late, but I started from uh, 1999, 2000, mm -hmm. and in 2016, I succeeded. Wow. I got my stuff together in 2016. And I have moved, I've experimented uh, over 20 something products. So I have 20 something products in, in line to do oh, that. I'm, I'm, I'm curious, how long is the dehydrating process take? The dehydrating process takes some time. Mm -hmm. It takes between six to sometimes 14 hours. Mm. Yeah, but, and wow. 14 hours come back because sometimes, you know, the one or two of them I have to give him a, a, a nice touch. Mm -hmm. I have to do something special to make it. Mm -hmm. they, some of them came because my mind just tell me to do it. Some of them came by accidents. Mm -hmm. For example, the, the, the uh, supper dealer. Supper oh, dealers came by boy, accident. The, the, the technique, I developed the technique by accident. Mm -hmm. And the mangoes, not the mangoes, but the bananas. I had to get bananas that don't look black. Right. I had to. So research the man. We have a lot of variation of bananas, varieties of mm -hmm. bananas in Grenada. Mm -hmm. I never knew that. Well, I get to know the banana name is Musa. Musa, which right. one is that one? Man, we have that's a family. A lot. Wow. Man, I don't. We wow. have a lot in Grenada. And then I experimented. I started making you know, made banana planting flour. And when I planting flour, I made uh, fellas call it. It's milk. You come in and say that flour. So I know it's planted milk. Yeah. So you could sweeten stuff and thing with it. Mm -hmm. Because I was hospitalized and I was, I was hospitalized with kidney failure, mm -hmm. uh, chronic kidney failure. Wow. I know how come back, my yeah. kidney come back working wow. anyhow. Uh, because if you look, you see I lost some weight. I lost 47 mm -hmm. pounds in, in four days. What? And uh, I was called skinny. I went to the hospital looking like 40 something years and I came out looking at 70 something years. A gray, hair get gray, beard get gray and what And I in and out of hospital. And going in and out of hospital, they can't feed you properly. Yeah, yeah. I said, but wait, what's going on? What's about me? Somebody said, can I eat banana? I said, how oh, can I eat banana? And I'm eating bananas when I go. So what are you doing with it? And I recognized that, yes, I'm doing something different. And I started experimenting with more and more products. Bleaching bananas, bleaching yam, bleaching this, and doing my stuff. Mm. Banana powder, planting, um, um, how you call it? Pumpkins, oh. ginger. My, my ginger, my ginger and pepper is superb. Oh, it's so, this so, world. So, yeah. so, My specialty, my, what gives me pride is the mangoes and the, um, and the banana. Mango chips and banana chips. Plus my mango rolls. Yes, I actually have a packet or two here. So yeah. there's the, which uh, I'm actually going to, these are fine. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, man. And I mean, when you think of nutritional value, just think of dehydrating. People think dehydrating, oh, you might be pulling a lot of the nutrients from it. You might. Man, the only nutrients that you pull from, you pull from it because of the heat, you know, yeah. this. It destroys some vitamin C. Yeah. But all the other um, nutrients, they're concentrated. So yeah. you're not actually losing. Like I, I told um, a man recently, he said, you want your fresh mango? Put some more water in it and get back your mango. Put some more water in it and get back your, um, your, your, your bananas. Oh, uh, and so I didn't know that. Man, okay, for example, uh, my, the cereal, your, your cereal. Everything is overseas. Mm -hmm. I took, I do the cereal now. You get the, um, the farine. Mm -hmm. And that's one of my, I started doing that already. Yeah, I bought a machine for people in Munich to do the farine, mm -hmm. right? I mean, you're poor, you can't help, they can't. So I bought the machine for them and they started doing the farine. And one day I was in town and I got, I got farine. I got about 30 packs of farine one day. Everybody who used the farine in Munich, Mr. Morris, I give you more, but I have to give you one. Yes. I have to give you one. A man, watch. Yes. And we have farine that we could use for breakfast, cereals, and morning, and we are not using it. Mm -hmm. But if you take the farine 
and you mix it for him with the mango with mango rolls you make that mango rolls, mango chips and banana chips mm -hmm. in that foreign or perhaps somebody loves mm -hmm. in that foreign uh, two pieces of um, sauce up in that foreign that you put some water in and you put milk in if you could drink your milk man he ain't have no cereal <laughs> better than what we have locally yep oh yep. one of my products again is the jacks yes i heard about that and, and the, that one i mean you have to the dehydrated jacks man you can eat it like that because it's, it's like fried jacks. It's mm -hmm. like fried jacks. Right. It's brittle. It's hard and it's brittle. Right. But it's dehydrated. It's kind of hard. It's not a jockey. Mm -hmm. But it's up there. The stench that you get from corn jacks, yes. you don't get that. It's, it's there, but not mm -hmm. as po pungent as the corn jacks. Wow. But it's there. But you know... It's jacks, and you yeah. can eat it. You can eat it like that. Uh, you can saute it again with olive oil, or oil, uh, coconut oil with your mm. onion and your garlic and your cucumber and your tomatoes and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And it's back there. That's one of the best market uh, I, 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 I will have. Uh, I'm praying that my cousin should will tell me one day, Trevor, come. I have this um, <laughs> this uh, what do you call it? This smoker up here to do yes. thing. Come yeah. take that and, and do it because the people in Victoria don't want to. I pray for she to tell me that one day. But <laughs> I mean, you, you understand? <laughs> now, I at the moment I have some people employed. They assist me. Mm -hmm. I teach. I teach them. Uh, women, women that do that. Mm -hmm. But I have I got um, products from farmers. Right. And uh, we do that. My, my aim is to really and truly revitalize, uh, revolutionize mm -hmm. the whole banana and uh, the agricultural, agricultural industry in Grenada. But bang, mangoes, bananas, every damn thing, just do it. Excellent. Pepper, where you could get all your, your products, all your agricultural, agricultural products mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in Grenada mm -hmm. should not go to waste, should not spoil. Very true. You have a flood of tomatoes in the market. Take that marketing board and want to take it. A uh, marketing board half it and you know, I'm thinking the brain come. Mm -hmm. I dehydrate them, make it the powders, all the barbecue wow. men, barbecue men. Was Mr. Mother, someone your paper, fellas making the soup and, and the side of the road. Mr. Mother, someone I, 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 I want the paper. They come by I me, mean, they take the paper, mm -hmm. you know, cook the food and they put the pepper in it. They take the, the pepper, put the pepper down, you take your toothpick, you dip it, and then you put it in, in your soup uh -huh. and then you stir. And you, you think like that. that it's that potent, eh? Yeah, that that's. <laughs> what about cameraman? And like, the, yes. The, the, the fellas now with, wow. the, with the barbecue sauce, they come, buy the pepper, they buy the powder, and they make their own tomato um, barbecue sauce with the all local honey, and they do that. I also make the, the barbecue sauce for. Uh -huh. what, what's, what's the program they had? Wow. I also make the barbecue sauce for some fellas. Right. Well, that you know, grill too, thing, that the grill event, thing, right? King of the Grill. Yeah, King of the Grill. Right. That's 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 a, a, a beautiful program that yeah. we had, and yeah. that program uh, sold and market Grenada. Yeah. But those are the programs that help to showcase the talent, the um, the culture, mm -hmm. the cuisines, mm -hmm. the basic mm -hmm. cuisine mm -hmm. in Grenada. So, our thank God for COVID. Also, that's you know, I put more effort into it, and a lot of people put more effort into getting those products that we have here locally mm -hmm. to manufacture and get out there. Mm -hmm. We need restaurants as well as hotels to dedicate themselves or a day, or Grenada Day, the coming by Independence yes, or when, yes. to target local cuisine. Yeah. You ask children, do you know what is Kukupua? Yeah. Yeah, children don't know what yeah. is Kukupua. Yeah. You don't, they, they don't eat jacks and uh, cuckoo, jacks yeah. and fish. Yeah. That's longevity. The, uh, the people who live the longest are the people who eat those foods. That's so right. In, in, in Grenada. So, so right. crab. I yeah. don't eat crab. Yeah. But I love my kalalu soup. Mm -hmm. That had crab cook in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And anybody would like that. Um, the rice with, um, what do you call it? Saffron. Saffron. Mm -hmm. And ginger. Mm -hmm. And those things, you have your powder, mm -hmm. you have 
mango powder also your ice cream your smoothies yeah eating a, 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 a supper glass smoothie mm. Huh? Mm. you imagine mm. eating those I, I mean I'm telling you I've, <laughs> I've tried them and do, I've, I've done it um, fellas come visit me and, and fellas would come and say Mr. Morris I am coming by you I know you're sick but I'm coming by you I need you to make some smoothies for me mm -hmm. uh, to make some um, uh, I call it ice lolly right. for me right. and I make the ice lolly uh, in little cups and, thing, uh, and, and and give them man just to boost up the just local to keep it, yeah. kind of can folks find this anywhere else except through you so they must come to you okay at the moment eh? mm -hmm. I, I was given permission to, 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 to sell the bananas mm -hmm. and the mangoes mm -hmm. and two Two main supermarkets actually did that. Grenfell at, what's your name? Toby? Mm -hmm. Two. I'm not sure. <laughs> Archibald Boy at the top of Grenfell. Uh -huh. We grew okay. up together. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And A&M, um, e Cherry Hill Supermarket. Got Man, it. that's Bye. anything local, anything produced local, you can get it there. That's they have it. it. You have not invented a mouthwash in Grenada? Come. Yeah. Have you ever asked yourself that? Yeah. We have the spices. All the ingredients to make yeah. the mouthwash yeah. is here in Grenada. Yeah. And we have not invented a mouthwash. Hello everyone, I'm Lexan Fletcher and welcome to Lexan TV. Lexan TV is the platform for series such as We Cookin', I like to cook the curry. Life Champion, and coming soon, the Life Balance Podcast. You know, this is a career, this is not just about storytelling. It is a true passion. Keep doing what you love to do. I have never chased after money. You want to leave this world having made a contribution. I'm so happy that you decided to join me on this journey and I want to say a special welcome also to our WPG10 family. Remember to check out our YouTube channel, our Instagram page, click like, click share and of course on YouTube, subscribe today. Thank you so much for stopping by and of course stay tuned for lots more content right here on Lexan TV where it's all about life. Modest, before we, we say goodbye and we leave you to your relaxing day at home, no, 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 <laughs> you're going back at work and make yeah. the good stuff. Um, is there any other, anything else, closing points, anything you'd like to, whether it's regarding uh, our, our young people coming up in the sporting discipline, whether it's uh, a drive for us to consume more local, more homemade, more highly nutritious foods, anything at all, sir? Well, if, if you look at my life, you see I started in sports. Sports drive me. Mm -hmm. Everything I am today is because of sports. I, I mean, parental discipline yeah. and God is overall factor. Yeah. That's it. When I say parental, I'm talking about the community yeah. as, as a whole. Yeah. Because everybody in community in, in paradise is no church, but everybody that's, that's their son. That's it. <laughs> if, it's not, if it's not my family, it's my godmother, godfather, everybody. <laughs> and if it's not my godmother, godfather, somebody, they just claim me. And that's how it was in, in paradise. Mm -hmm. If I go to paradise today, it's like that. Yep. I have to go by everybody. Yeah. Now, it's for sports. Mm -hmm. That's your foundation and in discipline. That's, that is preparing you for your dedication and strength in your workplace mm -hmm. or in employment. Mm -hmm. Look at every top-notch individual in Grenada they were outstanding sports personnel. <laughs> Even. <laughs> look I at, I mean, you are not. <laughs> Beauty queen. <laughs> you were in track and field. I was. Right. Not ball. All right. It started with your grandfather. Oh, yeah. I mean, I didn't, sorry, I didn't say your, your grandfather <laughs> okay. was one of the people pushing me <laughs> to throw the javelin. Wow. And so the daddy said, Boy, you don't want to lift weight. Go lift with that. <laughs> Forget to, to. Daddy said, Boy, they're pushing me. Now, 
You have now, coming from that, the police force. Mm -hmm. The education, Ministry of Education, has to change the whole strategy in regards to education. Yeah. And the, the whole thing in Grenada is in regards to education. The problem in, in the Caribbean is education. Yeah. The aspect of education and how you view education has to change. Mm -hmm. Ad academics is not education. Mm -hmm. It's a part of education. Ah. Holistic education, as in holistic policing, every living thing around you. Copy, take a page from the police. The police is way more advanced than our society. That's why you have the, the conflict. Mm -hmm. Because there are more police officers in the police force now with degrees mm -hmm. than any other institution in Grenada. Mm -hmm. And they are at a certain level, and because they are at, at, at that level, there is that level of friction. Mm -hmm. When you talk about strategy, in regards to um, policing strategy, uh, strategy in, in, in any ministry, the police is way above, even finance that came out with um, strategical plans and whatnot, the police is way above them. Even Ministry of Finance. Mm -hmm. So the Ministry of Education has to strategize the development of Grenada. That's their responsibility. More teachers we need from now till year to reach a certain level, university level, till we have our own university. How much fishermen you need. And not fishermen just to go and fish, but fishermen who become uh, marine biologists yes. to go outside there to fish. How much uh, nurses you need, how much doctors you need to fit our hospital, to move our hospital from where we are. That's mm -hmm. the responsibility of the Ministry of Education to do that. You, their strategical plan is supposed to change. More politicians we need to, much lawyers we need. You have to gear the country to feed that. Yeah. The time where we teaching people to get the academic qualification and ship them out like bananas to go to England, to go to mm. Europe, to go to the United States as human resource, just as cargoes, like the banana and the cocoa that which this time has gone. Yeah. We have to look inwards. We have to try to develop ourselves. Yeah. And unless we don't start doing that, we can't go forward. Yeah. Yes. Have you ever asked your yes. have you ever <laughs> asked yourself why we have so much a clove? And yet, we have not invented, not even a mouthwash. Uh, mm. That's one of my products, product too. <laughs> you have not invented a mouthwash in Grenada? Come. Yeah. Have you ever asked yourself that? Yeah. We have the spices. All the ingredients to make yeah. the mouthwash yeah. is here in Grenada. Yeah. And we have not invented a mouthwash. Mr. Modest? <laughs> Cool. Last I one. think we need a whole new, yeah, we need, last one. <laughs> yeah, no. You talking about agriculture. Yes. Food security. What is the greatest asset in security? It's food. Yeah. Agriculture. Yeah. Every restaurant, every hotel mm -hmm. supposed to have Local cuisine being served. That's right. Um, I mean, I go in a restaurant, I want to show off gr a Grenada. Mm -hmm. The only thing I could show is Aldo. I mean, yes, that's our national dish. But what's our secondary national dish? Any child, well, I don't know which one is the secondary. Because I remember it was peas, rice and peas, and then it was kalaloo soup. So you don't teach your children your secondary national dishes. Can you go to a restaurant and ask for kalaloo soup? I get kalaloo soup as your, yeah, well, you get it as an appetizer. But as a dish, mm -hmm. do you go and you get crayfish waters? The, look at our fauna, flower and fauna. Mm -hmm. Look at our maniku. I mean, people, some people don't want to eat the, how do you call it again? The, the, the tattoo the, the and the Amadillo, monkey yeah. and them yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah. you can make dishes with those things. What's about the titiri? Mm -hmm. I've eaten titiri in Japan. Mm -hmm. So why can't we do something with those titiri and rice? You know, those things. The, 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 the cassava biscuits mm -hmm. and those things. Why can't we solve those things? I think we need to come back. 
and you need to prepare something for me to eat. <laughs> Just, I'm just saying because we definitely need to we need to go into the cuisine aspect of things yeah. as well. What do you say? We have a deal? Of course. Of I'll, course. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I'll, I'll give you the... <laughs> I grinning them, grin them breakfast. Wow. Mr. Mondes, I know we're out of I'll time. Give, I'll, I'll give you a Grenadian <laughs> breakfast. I'll give you a Grenadian lunch and a Grenadian supper. And a Grenadian supper. And yeah. even a Grenadian dessert. Well, of course. Of course. Mr. Mondes... Oh my goodness, sir. Thank you for coming. I, I thoroughly enjoyed this. Yeah. I, and I know you have a lot to share. You know, time. Yeah, <laughs> we I understand, out of I understand. Time. But thank you so much. So viewers, certainly hope you've enjoyed this special episode with Mr. Trevor Modest, MBE. Listen, you're wondering what's in my hand. I've already tasted it. It is incredible. It is a dehydrated sour sup. you got to taste this. I was just told that I'm the first person to really give this a try. And it's super tasty, very delicious. We are gonna keep you posted as to what Mr. Mendes is going to be whipping up in his kitchen here. And I'm sure I can smell a We Cooking segment coming up with Mr. Trevor Modesta. I wanna thank you again for tuning in. Don't forget to follow all our social platforms. And of course, support local 100% every time. Mr. Modest. You are a star. Thank you so much again. Thank you. Man. Have a good one, folks. Until next time, it's Lexan TV, where it's all about life and local food. Mm, dehydrated sour sauce. Thank you. Oh, it was so good.